Dead man. Man. Dead man. Dead man. Dead man. Dead man. This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. What well, going on, people? Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. In God, I put my trust. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Psalms 56 and verse 11. Happy, happy, happy Boxing Day. Yes, today a Boxing Day. It's another holiday for all celebrate holidays. You understand? Pick up everybody who live to see today. Yes, me have to say that. Every day above ground is a blessing. Remember today is Sunday. No? So, we have to go cook some fresh food. Nobody with the leftover thing. No, 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 no. People still have to pass through the yard and come beg some food. I know the Sunday hungry guy already. The type of hungry they're different. But I'm not come for talk about right now. Whole heap of thing going on the news. I don't feel like some of them come tell you, know, you know, make a sad mistake. Yes, I don't know exactly who gets slapped with, who almost gets slapped with. Which part of them find this and which part of them find that. So keep my calls to the news now. The purge continues. Two men were shot and injured in two separate Christmas Eve police shooting incident in Red Hill, St. Andrew and Linstead, St. Catherine. Yes, people. What do they feel like Satan never they got them? Satan now. Not even look a chance when they get to celebrate Christmas. In the first incident at Gutsman District in Red Hills, police say a man was shot and injured at about 9.30 p.m. when he was confronted by a lawman and a shootout began. During the shootout, the police said the man who is now admitted in the hospital was shot and injured. What land now, my people? More to the tell me if that makes sense. Man a shoot off a police and police a lift them and carry them hospital. KPH, fix him business for me there. Yes, me a be going to fix him business. No boy we shoot off a police. I'm a tough. No boy we shoot off a innocent people. Not supposed to live. Them need to go. You understand? Right, 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 right. Now, because I continue the news. A third was 9mm pistol with 8 rounds of ammo was seized. Watch me when I tell you about the next incident now, which occurred at about 10 pm. The Linson police shot and injured a man who was having a confrontation with another man in the town centre. The police said the injured man was in the process of attacking another man with a machete. Yes, people. Who know what is a machete? One cutlass. And the man cutlass to be able to, you know, when lawmen intervene. During the intervention, the armed man was shot and injured. He was taken to the hospital where he was also admitted. The police has confirmed that Indicom, yes, Indicom is watching the man. They must start investigating the two cases. Them. Hold on, the man. Come 2022, we'll get rid of Indicom. You know? Yes, man, we are going to get rid of Indicom. We have to talk it into being. Hold on, then, I'm going to take a step over St. Thomas. Come here, so then, stop for somebody over there. He never live for Christmas. Yes, he never live for Christmas. At Christmas Eve, them slap him at all. Gunman struck on Christmas Eve in Lysa St. Thomas, leaving a male resident of the era dead. Yes, people. Dead, dead, dead. Finance. You don't listen to me. He had to identify as 46 year old Lincoln Bansida. Police report that Bansida was at a stall on Lysen Main Road at about 2 p.m. when armed men opened gunfire, shooting him several times. A whole heap shot him getting a paper. Holy pa, holy pa, holy pa shot. I make mean, I tell you something. Then pick up your body and carry it down at the mark, go put it down. No motive of the killing has not been established. Up to December 18, St. Thomas has recorded 36 murders. Yes, 36 people dead out on the side there. Due to gun violence. But we'll land there. Remember, enough of them get licked off a bike too, you know. I'm not count for that yet. This is 10 more than the 26 homicides reported for the corresponding period last year. And the year not done yet. More people and more people and more people shall be getting slapped out there. Can't say me never tell you no. Hold on a bit now. Right now, I'm going to jump out on the Christmas Eve. I'm going in at Christmas. And guess which way I'm going to start? Right down at St. Elizabeth. You understand? I'm going to confirm to that phone. The police have confirmed the death of an elderly couple in a fire which destroyed their dwelling early Christmas morning on Lover's Lane in Newtown, Black River. Yes, people. A couple drop out. Deputy Superintendent Ruan Elliott of St. Elizabeth Police told our news team that the charred remains of Monica Brown, age 77, and her common law husband, Leroy Stewart, who was said to be in his late 60s, was discovered after the blaze was put out by the firefighters. Big up the firefighters, them. Make I continue going to the news, can them care right now report as a short circuit in no box. Early speculation was that the fire started accidentally. We don't suspect foul play. That's how we wrote Elliot to tell me no people. 
Hold on a bit now. No. Our new steamer told that there was no electricity at the premises, but the couple used candle for lighting. Mayor of Black River, Derek Sangster, expressed great sadness at the news of the tragedy. Hold on now. Hold on now. So, as I long you know, say them people never have no light, you could give them some light. Eh? And then you come and talk about your son. How do you feel going on? I vote alone on the business boat. It's a terrible thing to hear a news like this first thing on Christmas Day. Yes, people, my sympathy goes out to all relatives and friends, said Sangster, who is a counselor of the Mountainside Division in St. Elizabeth. So, I left St. Elizabeth and I'm going to discover something. Right down a discovery here. I'm going to tell you now. One person is feared dead and two others injured in a Christmas morning collision on Patriot Bottom Main Road in Discovery Bay, St. Anne's. Circumstances around the incident are unclear at this time. Yes, people. But photos and videos of the crash scene show a Toyota Barkex vehicle which overturned on its side. Make I tell on something. From a see how the car look, you can't know see a speed them a speed. Said what I said and I mean what I said and no me not take it back already. Unconfirmed report reached our news team that there were three occupants in the car at the time of the incident. One of the occupants reported that they died at the scene while two others were rushed to the hospital. Una ask for extension for the curfew so they can go up and go kill off on self. See it then now. Whole heap of people shall be left crying. But guess what? Some people are got because they can't get free food at night night. Hold on a bit then now. Make I give you some more news. Me I go show the set people just they both have to show them life. One of three persons who were traveling on a motorcycle was killed during an accident on the Yorton Main Road in St. Catherine on Saturday. Yes, people. Yes, that is what I say. Three people by one bike. Yeah, man. A regular we said. The dead man has been identified as 31 year old Mikel Martin. A resident of Lynn State in the parish. Hold on a bit, you know, Kevin. Over so now come look sympathy. Please don't bother come. Come in a face type for no no no. No 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 no. Two other individuals on the bike, including a woman who was unconscious after the accident, were taken to the hospital. Them not really want to tell more of them conditions stay now. But then again, me not really business. If you know family member in the comment section, you can tell people because people want to know. Not me. Police at about 3 a.m. Yes, listen. 3 a.m. What time was curfew again? What time was curfew again? Uno na here, man. Uno feel like say. Uno above the last one on Tanner Road. That one again. Martin and the two other were traveling on a bike heading towards Linstead when it collided with a grey Subaru Impressa motor car. The injured individual were taken to the hospital. Yes, that the man and woman. But Martin never lucky. Martin dead right on the spot. Yes, people. Right on the spot. Martin dead. Hold on a bit you now. I'm going right back out of St. Thomas. I'm here going to be honest with you now. I'm losing all five people them out of St. Thomas. Because time and time and time again, I see them do the same foolish. I see come 2022, I don't want to not do it. Make this be the last one. Make this be the last one. I know people are wondering what I talk about. Let me tell you now. A man who attacked a businessman as he locked up his shop in Curtis Bottom District in St. Thomas on Christmas Day was corralled by residents and handed over to the police along with an illegal firearm. Hold on a bit. Remember why they kill innocent man out of St. Thomas, you know? And this boy where you don't slap with. You don't slap him I really don't understand where I go on out of St. Thomas. Boy, we forget slap with clear light like there. You don't know, slap them. Eh? But anyway, I can tell the people them go on. Reporters that the store owner was closing up his establishment when two men, one of them armed with a gun, attacked him. The store owner allegedly resists the men's attempt to rob him and a tussle began. Yes, people. Fight them, start fight. Resident reported he came to his assistant and disarmed the gunman. The incident happened at about 12.30 a.m. Remember them say, lock business place. One hour before the curfew, and the curfew was one o'clock. So I'm going by a little time still. But he still could have slapped on the boy. People him out there should have slapped on this boy. One of the accused had his weapon, a Taurus dial millimeter pistol with 12 rounds, was handed over to the police. The police said the second robber escaped. As usual. As usual. The people that make one escape. But guess what? I'll go on now. He might come back, you know. Yes, people, he's going to come back. And he might go fix the people that are coming into business because we we'll are leave him for live the next day. I always tell you, no, don't give them a chance. No chance they're supposed to get. You understand? Because it's Christmas and the shop owner them go so boom and drop the balloon chicken and make the people them a pick, pick, pick. No insane. Them take out the big one out tight already. Long, 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 long time. But hold on, man. I go see what I go do when this boy I got caught. Give him bail. Yes, like all the people them know him, give him bail, make the community angry and bangle this time. Remember to the people on Sunday, the Sunday hungry, no normal. Not because you give somebody some food yesterday, 
I mean, so do not give them the food today. Today the people them want the food. Yes, today the people them want the food. And I can celebrate Boxing Day to man. Happy Boxing Day, man. Everybody just want to celebrate Christmas and New Year's. Me no want nobody give me the New Year's greetings until New Year's Day. Yes, Christmas is a day for itself. Boxing Day is a day for itself. And New Year's a day for itself. You understand? But every day is a New Year for me still. You understand? Once you have life, you have hope. So people, pick up yourself. Go and stay protected. Protect your tree. Watch your six at all costs. Because it almost reach on the doorstep. Can't say me never tell you no. It almost reach on the doorstep. It had a gate and a try to come in, but it can't come in. So watch out. Alright? May I come back with some more news. Cause our next bus crash. We saw holy paper people.